Okay, so in this problem, we have two balanced six-sided dice, but the faces are not going to be normal. Like, they're not going to be the one through six. One of the dies, we'll call die A, has faces two, 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 six, six. So it has four of the faces with the number two, and the other two with the number six. And the other die, die B, has three of the faces with the number one, and the other three faces with the number five on it. So um, let's have a, a scenario where we're going to imagine that we're going to roll both, both dice at the same time. First thing you want to figure out is to create a probability model that represents the difference in the numbers rolled. The difference will be the number on die A minus the number on die B. Then we're going to figure out which die is more likely to roll a higher number. Um, so again, maybe if you need a little visual, I'll actually like drawing. Our die six is a cube. There's six faces, you know, one, two, the bottom three, four, five, six. So you got dice. And, um, you know, if we're going to find out, if we're going to make a probability model, that basically means that you want to create a, some sort of diagram table that shows the outcome versus the probability of, of getting that outcome. So what I like to do is, is basically set up like a, like a, like, a, like, like a grid, kind of like a graph, where you have the outcomes on that one die and the outcomes on the other die on one axis, on the other axis. So let me just show you what I mean. So we're gonna have die, we'll have die A be up here. And on die A, you know, you can get, you know, a two, 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 there's, and, or a six and a six. Those are your six possibilities. So you have six possible outcomes for die A. Now, die B will be an, on the horizontal or on the, you know, on the, on the vertical, vertical axis. Here. And for die B, you can get, you know, either a one, there's three ones, or a five. So you can get a one, 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 or five, five. Now, one of the questions you may like initially think is like, oh, like why do we have to write three, like, why do we have to write um, one three times? Isn't one always just one? And why do we have to write five three times? Or why do we have to write, you know, two, four times? Well, like, what's the point if they're all the same number? Um, so technically, yeah, they they all represent the same, you know, value, but there are different sides of the die that have, you know, a two. So for example, you can have, let's say this, this front side, this side, maybe the back side, and maybe the other side. So like even they all have a value of two, but there's four possible um, ways the die can land to get a two. So these are like different twos, so to speak. And these are like different ones, different fives, and different sixes. So then you're gonna get different outcomes. So now in this cross section here, in this, you know, in this grid, we basically represent the numbers of the scenario. So in here, we're going to have die A minus die B. And we're going to write all those numbers in here, and that's going to be, that's going to give us all of our possibilities. So for example, die A minus die B, we'll take the two minus the one, and you'll get a one. A two minus this, two minus this one, it's still one. Two minus this one, you get a one. Now two minus a five will be negative three. 2 minus a 5, and negative 3, and negative 3. Now going to the next column, you're going to do 2 minus 1 again, 2 minus 1, and so forth. So you're taking the difference, this, the top row minus the left column. So let me just go through it. Probably caught this one. So all these twos are going to be the same. Two fives will all be negative 3. Now we're gonna have six minus one for these last two portions. Six minus one is five. Six minus five, 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 five. And then here we have six minus five, which is one. Six minus five, one, 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 one. So these are all the possible outcomes you can get 
when you roll the two dies and you take die A minus die, die B. Now, there's 36 outcomes because there's 36, you know, there's 36 numbers here. Six and six make 36. Six times six makes 36. So this is gonna, this is a good visual. So when we make, when you make a, you know, a model like a like a, a formal way to usually represent it is basically to have, you know, rows and columns. The top row we're gonna have the difference. Bottom row, we're going to have the probabilities. And we're going to put the course, we're going to put the possible differences we have in here. So the possible values of the differences we can have are one, five, and negative three. So one, five, and negative three. Those are the only three possible values of the difference. And then down here in these spots, we put the, the probability of getting a difference of one. And what we do is simply divide. We count how many ones there are. There's four, eight, 12, 14, 16, there's 18. 18 ones out of 36, that's the probability, which is, you know, one half. Let's use, it's fine if you leave it like this. I actually like it better like this because then you see exactly how many ones out of how many possibilities there are. Next, we take the probability of getting a five. So we count up all the fives. We only have six fives. So six out of the 36 combinations. So six out of 36. And the, the probability of getting a negative three, which will be one, which will be four, eight, 12. There remain 12 possibilities. 12 out of 36. So that's our probability model. Now, let's use this to help us answer part B. It's asking which die is more likely to roll a higher number. So let's think about this. If we're doing die A minus die B, if the number on die A is greater than die B, then this is gonna give you a positive number. So, so let's say if, if die A is greater, let's say A is greater, That leads to a positive number. Positive number. Any positive number in here corresponds to die A being greater. Now, if die B is greater, that means then you're going to have a negative number. If B is greater, then you're going to have just a negative number. And if they were equal, you know, it'd be you know the same value minus the same value, which would be zero. But you know, we know they're not going to ever be equal because they don't have any of the same numbers. So now we just look: what is the probability of getting a positive number versus a negative number? The probability of getting a positive number, you know, we just look at how many positives there are. There's a, there's a lot. There's, you know, six, twelve, eighteen plus this. The probability of of getting a positive number is going to be. 24 out of 36. The probability of getting a negative number, or geez, you know, are you, the only negative number you can get is negative three, and there's 12 of them, so 12 out of 36. And so then, essentially, it's more likely that die A will roll, will roll a higher number because, you know, the probability of getting a positive number is 24 out of 36. It's twice as great as, you know, twice as rated rolling um, die B and B greater. And so then that's how we justify it. So there's two.